Hello, I'm just here to show you how to create this form and answer the questions you had about um, the kind of conditional questions in your questionnaire. So for Kobo Toolbox, um, how I'm designing this questionnaire is in an XLS form. And let me get rid of these here. Um, so you have different um, headings for your columns and you have your questions over here. So for your first question where it asked about can different schools come up for different um, partners, you need to have a question around which partner is it and then around which school is it. And you want to find the column that's called choice underscore filter. And that's where you can um, create something that just says one school belongs to one partner kind of thing. And this will filter it out. And I'll show you how that works. Then if you want to have another question that's conditional, such as have children completed the sanitation checklist and do you investigate sanitation activity? And they answer yes. Um, what you do is you find this column for the next question called relevant. So if you want them to upload a picture, it's an image, upload photo of anyone's sanitation for the school, and under relevant, you just say that the sanitation checklist, yes, no, equals yes, so they have to answer it. So um, these are the questions that you had, the choices. I've just kind of given example partner names and example school names and um, a yes, no selection, uh, so that's what we needed. So this is the questionnaire. Once that's saved, if you go into your Kobo toolbox and you just click on new, you can upload the XLS form. Uh, so if we upload that one, then it will upload it. You can just create your project and I'll just preview it for you. So if we preview that, so if the partner name is partner A, then it will have these selections for the schools. If you choose partner B, it will bring up a different selection of schools. Partner C will have different ones, and D will have even different ones from that. So um, you can see the, those questions are conditional on which partner. And then have you completed the sanitation checklist? If you choose yes, then you would click to upload a file. I won't upload the file right now, but if you click no, that question won't appear and then you can click validate and it just tells you it's valid. So that's a, just a very quick description of how the form works in Kobo Toolbox and how you could make those questions um, uh, conditional and hope that helps, thanks.